everyone, Amy here from VSG to be the real me with my week four update from vertical sleeve gastrectomy, which I had on the 16th of June 2014 in Adelaide in Australia by Dr. Benjamin Teague. Um, I'll get straight to my numbers. Um, week four was actually yesterday, um, but I, I felt real shitty yesterday, so I didn't want to make a video and didn't feel like it. So. I'm doing it today. <laughs> um, so I weighed in yesterday at 106.7, which from my surgery weight is down 9.7 kilos, and from my high weight I'm down 17.3. So it was a 1.3 kilo loss for the week, which is 2.8 pounds. Um, pounds from surgery is 21.4 and 38.1 from my high weight in pounds. Um, so it's a pretty good week. I mean, 1.3 is is still a really good weight loss. Um, I'm guessing my body's starting to change now that I'm not just having like fluids and stuff, but actually eating food um, and being able to get a bit more in. I'm still pushing quarter of a cup. Something, depending on what it is, I can get just over quarter of a cup, but averaging about quarter of a cup at a time for meals. Um, what I've been eating. So I made like a stew casserole thing. I've had that a few times and that seems to go down really well. Um, and it's tasty, so I actually want to eat it. Um, chicken and rice, a soy and garlic chicken with veggies. And it was like two teaspoons of rice. So it was nothing exciting, but makes you think you're eating it anyway. Um... Just chicken and veggies, just cooked like the rest of the family. I just have my little tiny bit. I did try um, squid, just put in a pan and cooked. There wasn't anything exciting about it. Um, but that went down pretty easy. I managed like a roll, maybe that big and about that thick, and then when you cook it, it rolls up. Um, so that was nothing extreme, but it still went in and it went in fine, and it's a really high protein meat whatever you want to call it um so i'll try that again in the future and see how it goes um no one else in the family really eats it so i've kind of just got to cook it for myself but that's okay um i've been having veggie bake which i make with cauliflower broccoli what else do i put a carrot can't think what else i put in there <laughs> um and i do it with a like a cheese sauce um and my daughter eats the crap out of it, so I'm going to make it if she's going to eat it. Because at three, they don't eat much at all. Um, I did a potato bake. Once again, she'll eat it. And it went down quite easily, which I was surprised about. I mean, not that I'll be able to eat it very, very soon. But in the interim, it's working well. At least I'm actually eating. So um, my niece slept over Saturday night. Um... She loves to sleep over because Auntie's a good cook, apparently. <laughs> um, and I made her ribs because they're her all-time favourite. Her mummy doesn't cook ribs. <laughs> so um, I had ugh, the tiniest bit of meat. Like, it was nothing exciting, but it was something. So um, For breakfast, I managed a crumpet the other day. Just one crumpet with a bit of Promite. That went down quite easily, so that was good. Um... For lunch, oh, I don't know what day it was, I had a ham and cheese toasted sandwich without the crusts, um, and I managed like three quarters of it. It wasn't huge pieces of bread, but the surgeons say to toast it so it dries it out and doesn't block you up or anything. So um, food-wise, I'm doing pretty well. I haven't had a lot of yogurt and things because I'm trying to break away from that. I don't want to just live on yogurt because... That's not good. Um, I did make the flummery that little Aussie Mel made. Um, I made it yesterday and I tried some today and it was pretty damn good. Um, I think my daughter will like it too, which will be good. Um, so how I felt this last week, I've been feeling really empty in my like intestines, bottom, tummy sort of thing. I don't know if it's just because I'm not getting enough water or... It's like just a head thing, maybe, but it's really bizarre. Like, I feel empty. I don't know what it's about, but some days 
if I do leave it for too long without actually eating, I'll start to get lightheaded and things like that, which I think was a lot of yesterday's problem. Just didn't eat enough. So, um, I've found that I've been overcompensating with food a lot. Like I'm either cooking ridiculous amounts and there's only the three of us. Um, so, which is fine because hubby gets leftovers for lunch and it saves me having to make him a lunch. But at the same time, it's, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, I seem to be fussing over everyone as well. Like I'll be fussing over how much my daughter eats and if like we had a barbecue at my cousin's place. I don't think it was even two weeks after surgery. And I was so busy getting everyone else's kids dinner ready that I think it was so I didn't have to sit down with everyone while they were actually eating. <laughs> I had my little scrambled egg to eat, but at the same time I just kind of felt a bit odd. I mean, they're all family, so it didn't really matter, but it was, I thought about it later and I thought that was really strange that I was so worried about their all their kids when I've only got one to look after. <laughs> um, so I, th I thought that was interesting actually in how I'm looking at food now and not just for me, but for other people. Um, so I'll see how I go with that. I'll hopefully back off and leave everyone alone. <laughs> I'm sure they don't need me fussing over them, but yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, not much else for this week, I don't think. I've got, I, I just got back from a meeting actually that is involving me doing makeup for someone in Australia that's actually famous, so that's kind of exciting. That won't be till October, but I'm lined up to do it, so that's pretty awesome. I, um, if all goes to plan, it'll be a very exciting day. Hopefully she's not a real bitch though, because that will just annoy me. <laughs> um, apart from that, nothing. Nothing major has gone on. I haven't felt, apart from yesterday, feeling a bit shitty, but no other issues apart from that. Pooping's fine. <laughs> Seems to be a big thing on everyone's agenda. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to a good week this week. The weather's finally cleared up. We had non-stop rain Sunday which was actually really really nice and well needed in this town um, but the weather's really clearing up and the days have been a little bit warmer um, so it'll be nice to be able to get out and go for a walk and actually en enjoy the weather while it's still cool because um, summers here are pretty brutal so I'm not looking forward to that at all um, I do have a treadmill but that's boring <laughs> um, so yeah I will see you all next week. Um, I did post on my Facebook page today a um, like a progress picture from when I was in Sydney to go see The Lion King in May, or the very end of May, um, and then one from today. So check it out if you want to. VSG to be the real me on Facebook as well. Thanks, guys. I hope you're all having a wonderful week, and enjoy next week. Talk to you soon. Bye.